Hello again, I am Blonzy. Now, back in October last year, I reviewed this, which is the uh, Glide Gear GNS100, a 3-axis gimbal stabilizer for large cameras, like mirrorless uh, cameras and even DSLRs under some circumstances, although how long you're in that heavy lens is. And, well, if you want that kind of detail, you can go watch the review of this, but Glide Gear don't actually make this. Glide Gear rebadge this, uh, probably because it's a Glide Gear is a more Western world friendly name than the people who actually make this, which is Ji Yun. Um, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled like that. I'm taking my best guess at how that, that's pronounced in my Australian tongue. Anyway, Zhi Yun also make this now, which is a baby brother to this, basically. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, will not do DSLRs like the big guy does, but it is probably the most practical option for most of you out there, if you, like me, shoot with smaller cameras. This is the Zhi Yun Crane M, and it is my new favorite. This is the one that is in my bag from now on in when I go shoot events and stuff. And some of you may have seen me with it. In fact, I've had this for a little while now. Some of you may have seen me with this, uh, shooting with this at uh, PAX Australia, like last year. Um, did a lot of shooting with it. And it is fantastic. Let me tell you all about it. Like I said, the Crane M is specifically engineered with mirrorless cameras in mind. It is much smaller, lighter, and easier to handle than the larger version of the Crane gimbal. But it retains all of the feature set. The three-axis stabilizer design uses stopless motors, so you'll never hit a hard stop, no matter how many times the motor spins through a complete 360 rotation. Those of you who have never used a gimbal with hard stops on it may not know how amazingly valuable this is, but trust me, you want it. Weighing in at a mere 740 grams or so, I found it super easy to take with me on shoots, and rather more importantly, to shoot with it all day long without extra fatigue or strain on my arm and shoulders. You can rate its camera carrying capacity up to 650 grams, significantly less than the Big Brother Crane model, which will support up to 1600 grams, but still very sufficient for even larger DSLR style mirrorless cameras like my own Panasonic G7. And the lower limit is just 125 grams, much, much lighter than the Big Brother can do. So, unlike the larger model, this one will correctly balance very light cameras right down to a smartphone. In fact, it'll even do a GoPro-style action camera. Now, yes, there are gimbals especially made for GoPros and smartphones and stuff. I have them myself. I have indeed reviewed several different models. But what the wide compatibility here means is that this is the one gimbal you can invest in if, in fact, you do, like I do myself, shoot with a variety of cameras. To enhance this, frankly, unmatched flexibility, the base plate system and balancing is the easiest and fastest I've come across yet. Mounting a camera or switching between cameras and making the appropriate adjustments to the balance is so quick. In particular, the upgraded base plate design makes the front to back balancing of the camera vastly easier and faster and more accurate than its big brother. At the bottom cap of the handle, you'll find a standard quarter 20 thread for mounting to other equipment like a monopod, which now means you can use it as a long reach makeshift crane. You can attach it to other handheld rigs if you want to attach, you know, lighting and monitors and microphones and stuff like that to it. You can also attach it to a tripod, especially useful for very rapidly getting a perfectly level shot with your tripod without any adjustments at all. And not just that, but the remote control facility becomes extra useful now as well. You can completely control this gimbal either through a smartphone app or through its own dedicated Bluetooth remote control device, which replicates all the vital functions. The balancing motors use three 32-bit processors to sample and make adjustments at over 4,000 times a second, and all of this hardware together basically just amounts to an incredibly smooth shooting experience. In fact, the Crane M can achieve up to 0.01 degrees of accuracy within 0.25 milliseconds. That, for the mathematically perplexed, is very, very accurate adjustments, very, very quickly. Like most gimbals of this type, you've got three main modes. The first keeps your camera level and smoothly tracks any panning motion you make. The second locks the level and the pan axis, so you're able to keep shooting precisely in one specific direction, regardless of any other movement of the handle. The last one frees up the tilt and pan axis altogether, allowing you the most freedom of movement and angle in your shots while keeping everything super smooth and gentle and level. And of course, with the thumbstick, you can make your own adjustments to the default home pan, tilt, and level position of your camera. 
The battery life is very impressive. It runs from 26500 lithium ion battery, a standard you won't usually find on a store shelf, but it is a common standard and it is relatively easy to obtain spares, if you even need a spare battery in fact, because with a large 3600 milliamp hour capacity, it will keep the Crane M running from a rated 12 to 18 hours. That is a large window of course, but it's because it really can vary that much in the real world. It varies depending on how much work you're asking the motors to do, and it varies depending on how well you've balanced it. This is the big reason it's so vital to balance the camera properly before you use the gimbal. If the camera is properly balanced in a natural neutral position, the motors just don't have to work very hard to keep it that way. In my own real world use, shooting at events like PAX Australia late last year, it certainly lived up to those battery ratings, I can tell you right now. I was shooting with a Panasonic G7 with a fancy 12 to 35 mm lens, so a reasonably heavy setup as far as this particular gimbal is concerned, and it easily got me through a whole day of shooting on the event floor and several interviews where it was mounted on a tripod without even coming close to low battery. I didn't even get halfway down on the battery. I don't think I even hit 75% in fact. It's easy to imagine I could get through a three-day event like PAX Australia even if I couldn't recharge it overnight in my hotel room for some reason. Maybe I was in someone else's hotel room. <laughs> the other outdoor samples you're seeing here are filmed with a Sony RX100 Mark II, where the battery life of the gimbal was equally impressive, as was the performance, balance, smoothness, and general feel of use. There's a USB port on the handle for charging, but there's also another USB port on the roll axis motor, for which you can get a few different USB cables that can attach directly to certain models of camera. What you can do with this connection varies between brands and models. For some, it's as simple as being able to trigger recording start and stop from the handle of the gimbal itself, a small but pleasant boost to the ergonomics of use. For other cameras, you can get control over things like focus or zoom. And it works pretty much as described, though frankly I didn't have much use for it in the field, instead preferring to use the on-camera controls which are just sort of part of my muscle memory at this point. Everything else about the Crane M is wholly impressive. The build quality is superb, its metal structure feels damn near invulnerable. Now I've been throwing it into bags for months now without any protection at all, and it still basically looks brand new. The motors remain utterly smooth to the point of feeling almost frictionless, it's ridiculous. The thumb screws and levers for balance adjustment are equally as pleasantly engineered with highly smooth threading action and bite. I really do love everything about this gimbal. Normally in a review you look for some sort of negative points to help make the review feel balanced and whatnot, but I just can't. This thing is damn near perfect for the kind of stuff I use it for anyway. Like its big brother model, this is a device made for professional level shooting, for people serious about their production quality. It's not a cool toy, it is certainly an investment. But given the battery life which exceeds all day use, the superb build quality, the fantastically smooth results, the remote control ability and the very broad camera compatibility, this may be the best value for money investment in a gimbal you could possibly make yet. To be clear, it is not cheap, but it is ridiculously good value in my humble opinion. And of course the classic little walk and talk here is made infinitely better with the addition of one of these stabilizer gimbals as well as I imagine most of you out there, like me, one man band YouTubers, you don't have a crew, you don't have a cameraman to walk backwards in front of you and another sound guy to make him guide through the crowd and everything, you just do it yourself, you gotta just hold the camera and walk and as you can see for yourself, beautifully smooth. It's almost like I've got someone actually shooting for me instead of doing this all one-handed self-shot thing, which usually, even with the camera with the stabilizer built into it, is uh, less than ideal when it comes to the stability of the footage and the watchability of the footage. So there you go, that is the Zhiyun Crane M, a uh, smaller, lighter, cheaper version of my previous sort of go-to sort of serious shooting uh, gimbal thing over here, which I will still keep around because like I said, this one doesn't do DSLRs and there might be some, you know, sometime in the future I'll have to use something heavy. So that's, uh, that's still going on the shelf, but this is the one I'm going to be reaching for, for my serious shoots. If I'm sort of not exclusively shooting with my mobile phone, for example, and, and you do make a mobile phone gimbal thing, which I tend to use anyway, but the Crane M is, uh, it just makes shooting with my uh, Panasonic G7, which is my, my usual go-to mirrorless camera for shooting events and stuff, so much easier because the G7 does not have its own stabilization in it. So kind of important to uh, use something to get a steady shot with that camera in particular, and it does such a good job. But this, the Zhiyun Crane M is absolutely, 
absolutely worth looking into pretty seriously if you are out there shooting on a regular basis, shooting stuff that you want to look really nice and you don't want to carry a bunch of support equipment with you. You don't want to carry sliders and cranes and tripods and monopods and all that kind of heavy crap. This can and will get you out of so many different shooting situations and do a really good job at it. I love it to bits. Geo and Cranium, thumbs up from Blunty. Thanks for watching. Uh, I am Blunty, like I just said. I ruined my own outro there. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and we'll catch you next time.